Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the Get All Child Actors Note. This is our Get All Child Actors Note. It's going to grab any child actor components that we have when we do our check. It takes in a target of an actor, so in this case we're checking ourselves. It's going to look and see if any of our children have any descendants that include child actor components and include them, if you have this checkbox, and then return back an array of those actors. In this case, I'm going to hit play, and we're going to see one in blue and two in red. If we debug this and we go ahead and play it again, you'll see that I have one output. We have a static mesh actor as my child actor when I target this blueprint. And if we look, we can see our child actor component here, and we can see the child actor class is a static mech, static mesh actor, which corresponds to what we can see here. Now, the other number we saw, we saw a two. If we go up one chain, we'll go to our parent. Our parent has a child actor component consisting of our blueprint child actors, which we just saw here, which has its own child actor component of a static mesh. If we run that same thing here, and we'll go ahead and debug this, and we'll hit play, you'll notice this time it's going to show us two. Number one value is our stack mesh actor, which we saw before, which is on our child. And the number zero is the actual child actor blueprint, which we spawned in, which our parent has in our child actor here. So we get back both of them because we've included descendants, or children of children of children, etc., all the way down as far as you want to go. If we uncheck this, for example, and we play this again, you'll notice we're only going to get one result. We're only going to get whatever we have attached to the actor we've plugged in, in this case self, and none of the children below that. And if we were to undo this and we hit play again, you'll notice they now both show one because we're no longer looking for the children on our top parent level object. 